I don't know if you can see me at all. Hey folks, it's Wednesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Hey folks, it's Tuesday. And um, I filmed this video about three times and it was the old camera I used to use just doesn't work anymore. So I'm borrowing this camera and hopefully it doesn't cut out on me. Anyway, um, today I'm going to show you a nice little camping skill. It's how to make a um, soda can into a stove that runs on rubbing alcohol. So let's just show you what the uh, finished product is going to look like. Pour a little bit of here. Make sure it goes all the way around the side. Okay. And then put water on the top of it. Make sure it's even. All right. So we're going to let that go for a while, and um, I'm going to show you how to actually make one. For this um, trick, you're going to need just an empty soda can and a knife, a lighter, and rubbing alcohol. That's pretty much all you need. However, to make things simpler for me, scissors and a manual can opener. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, rinse out the can, and then you just need to take the top off. Aluminum is super sharp when you uh, cut it. Okay, next thing you want to do is uh, cut it in half. Um, air on the side of the, sh the smaller side being a little bit sh shorter than the top. <laughs> but basically just cut it down the middle. So then what you're going to have is something that looks like this. And you might want to clean up the sides like this a little bit, just to make it even. So the bottom part is where you're going to keep your fuel or your alcohol. And now, you're going to need to make your vents. So this is where the knife comes in. What I do is I take two fingers, and then just go along the ridge like this, and you want the ridge to be a little bit, or valley, <laughs> you want the valley to be a little bit deeper on the, on, the, on the lower end. So you want to make it go all the way up, and then just go all the way around, and then just keep using two fingers to guide you. So then what you're going to have is something that looks like that. And then you just push them together. If it's kind of snugly, you want the top part to be pulled out a little bit, not resting too hard on the bottom. <laughs> so then, all it'll do is it'll fit right in a small Tupperware container for you, so it doesn't break when you're backpacking, and it doesn't crush, and you can keep your lighter in there right with it. And the cool thing about the Tupperware, whenever you need to turn off your stove, you can just turn it off. It's been about five minutes. And I got boiling water right now. The flame seems pretty even all the way around. So let's try the one we just made. Just over the ridge line. We just got bent all the way around. And make sure that the, this goes all the way around the sides. And we have success. This is perfect because rubbing alcohol is pretty much in every household, dorm, school, um, anywhere there's a first aid kit, and uh, aluminum cans are pretty much anywhere you find. So if you lose power, you can still have a heat source and a way to cook food, boil water, make tea, whatever you like. <laughs> all right, I really love that we're all back together for our reunion week, and um, Laya, I'll see you tomorrow. See? Alright, this is a dangerous flame. And it's out. That's with plastic.